Brian Danielson versus Kenny Omega. The dream match for the ages was at AEW Grand Slam. Got five stars from Dave Meltzer. Went to a time limit draw. This was one. This was Brian Danielson's best match since he went over to the WWE. Jim Cornette, who has hated everything to do with AEW for the yep. past two and a half years. Can't even stand. Jim Cornette, who watched this match, even he praised this as the best match in AEW history, said that Kenny Omega, who Cornette has been very critical of, stayed up with Brian and is great. He Even he couldn't deny the greatness of this moment. This is a match that I believe, and I think everyone else believed, lived up to the hype and honestly exceeded the expectations that were set for it because they were really high. Trevor, what did you think of this match? And what do you think of Jim Cornette's comments uh, saying how great this was? I'm surprised Jim Cornette didn't didn't like explode after saying that because like he he can't say anything nice about AEW. He hates AEW, and like I'm sure it hurt him to his soul to say that. Um, but no, he he's absolutely right though. Like I thought, um, both wrestlers did an amazing job. I thought Brian shined a little brighter, but Kenny kept up with him. You know what I mean? Like it it, it was it was an amazing match. It was. It proved these are two of the best best wrestlers right now. And that's saying a lot with Dan, uh, Brian Danielson having wrestled in a while. Like, it, it was it was a very, very entertaining. Even though there wasn't a winner, it's, I honestly, I thought that was the best case scenario, personally. I, I thought it set up something more later on down the line. It was a very good match. Both, for us, both uh, athletes should be very proud of themselves. Yeah, uh, this... I, I, I remember watching this match and just being absolutely pissed when they went to commercial. I was I was so Dude, they I could had no commercial break on this. <laughs> they, they I I look, I understand they had to and look, yeah. I'm fine with it, whatever, but man, oh man, was I pissed when I when that when that commercial break came on because I watched that first like whatever 15, 20 minute sequence they had and Trevor it, I was watching this and just being like this is exactly what I ex- like. This is exactly what I expected from these two. Like that, there, because like usually when there's a dream match, you know, like there's a certain level of like disappointment. Like, oh well, you know, it, it was really good, but it, it was not as great as you could. This was built up to be the match of the century, and it felt like it. The it moment up. felt like it. The crowd was into it. It, it Brian, we saw Brian the. We saw the Brian that we knew existed in WWE but could never do the things he wanted to do. He kicked Omega's head in. He was rough. He was selling. The V-triggers Omega was giving to this guy. It was... I marked out... Trevor, I'm not lying to you. This was my favorite match of all time. It's not the best match of all time or whatever. I understand Your that. favorite match, yeah. But this is my favorite match because I've never been so excited. You know how much I love Daniel Bryan. You know how much I love Kenny Omega. I've never been so excited for a match. I've never been so happy in the beginning. Like, and I hate the spot where wrestlers, like, you know, just pause for, like, three minutes and just look at the crowd. But I loved it. I was eating loved it, it loved up. It without, I loved it. And I loved how Brian just kicked it into it. They kept upping the ante. They kicked it yeah. into another gear. And just when you think they're in the full, they're in their full gear, pardon the pun, they ah. kicked it into another gear. It was just, it showed exactly why, why these two are the best in the world right now. It, it was, it was glorious to watch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty stars. I don't care. It it was great. No one can deny that. And one of the best spots of the match to me, in my opinion, one of my favorite spots was when Kenny went for the one wing angel, and Daniel hit him with a a, a Frankensteiner, a reverse Frankensteiner, right on his freaking head. Like, oh, it was so it was so such a stiff match. I I, I expected it to be stiff. But God damn, <laughs> dude, and 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 dude, yo, best best thing about it, you know how pale Brian is. Those yeah. chop, those chops were dude, like, it looked like so it was worse. Worse. Those mm-hmm. capillaries came right to the surface. Oh my God, it was amazing. And the thing is, Jr. was on point. Excalibur was on point. The commentary was great during this match. It was great. It was absolutely. Was, great. This was this was this, AEW. This was a at great its show, best. top to bottom. Great yeah. match, top to bottom, and the show was good too. But the, this match was great, top to bottom, commentary, storytelling wise, action. It it was just amazing. 
Yeah. Now, now the other question is, Trevor, because there's a lot of people who want to see this kind of continue. Uh, do you go back to this match at full gear, or do you hold off on the rematch for a little while? You know, you could definitely do it at full gear, but if I was Tony Khan, I'd wait on it. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd definitely wait on it, only because this is one of those things that you don't want to wear out. You, you, th- This is magic in the ring. This is something you do not want to wear out. It's kind of like, in my opinion, if they did it like this, it would be, it would be just like Sami Zayn and, and, Chris, and Kevin Owens. Mm. The, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, first time in the ring together is great. You should keep it just like that. You should not keep putting them in the ring and ruining what they create in that ring. And they create magic. They have great chemistry in the ring. Their matches are always money. But you shouldn't keep doing it. I think we had the 35th one earlier this year. But with this, this is something that you should have once in a while. Absolutely. If you don't have it twice a year, that's fine. You have it just once a year, that's great. But this is something that you shouldn't run into the ground. I think that this is th- – they should stop here for now. Hold off on it because the main reason why is I think you wait till Omega gets the title off of him because yes. wait, look, I, and I'm not I'm also not in favor of directly putting the title on Brian right now because I think he has to work his way up and that that's kind of I don't even think he needs the belt right now. To be well, honest. yeah, but 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 eventually that's what he's going to go for. Yeah. But yeah. but I, I think you hold off on it until Omega gets the belt off of him, and I think you even give it a few months. I don't want to see these two touch again until uh, the build up. For double or nothing. Because yeah. this is a main event match without the belt. The belt, honestly, in this scenario, is almost like a crutch because it, it, it puts that it, you know, it, it puts that doubt on whether Brian can actually win. Are they gonna take the belt off Omega? Probably not. So, you know, and especially with Adam Page looking like he's probably returning pretty soon. I think you 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 finish that story out. And then you build up to the rematch of Brian Daniels and Kenny Omega, literally, and it could be the best match of all time. If they imagine an Iron Man match between these two, oh, oh my God, they, oh, they go God, sixty minutes, sixty minute draw, and then go to overtime. That's what I want from this match. That's what I want from this. I got a question for you. You had one a couple earlier from me. I got a question for you. Other than Omega, and like not in this is a very vast question is. Um, who would you like to see Danielson wrestle besides Omega? Well, I mean, the n- number one person I want to see him wrestle, and this is, again, you hold off on this, I think, for an entire year. Number one is CM Punk. I want to see CM Punk versus Brian I would Danielson love to see them. Yeah, in, I would love to see them definitely again. In a proper way, because what we saw in WWE was great at, mm-hmm. at, at, at Over the Limit 2012, but it, at, nice. at, at, not in the main event, but... Um, but that is a main event match. Uh, CM Punk once said uh, something that was uh, that I thought was very true. Punk and Brian are like Brett and Sean. They should be they should be far apart, as far apart as possible. And then when you need a big money feud to build up to a pay per view, that's it right there. Punk and Brian, they're going to be magic every time. So, so he's number one on my list. Hold off on that. As far as immediate opponents, I want to see Adam Cole. I, I think yeah. build up to Adam I Cole, and I, think, good one too. and I think that makes more sense too because they're probably going to do Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy versus um, versus uh, the Young Bucks, and then Adam yeah. Cole versus uh, Brian well. Danielson makes more Brian sense. Yeah. And you know, and then other than that, I want to see him wrestle Jungle Boy. I want to see him wrestle MJF. Yeah, that feud. That now, feud. that would be that was one I was thinking. MJF, him and MJF would be a great feud. Also, I think him and um, Sammy Guerrero, Guerrero will be a good one too. I want him versus Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix to me oh, is is, the, is yes. the most fun to watch performer in really in, in the world right now, and, and he, I I want to see him. He's a stiff. He's a stiff worker too. Stiff, stiff son of a bitch. Penta too. Pac. Yeah. Oh, that. oh, it's the New the, Japan. The, the, oh, <laughs> Zack Saber Jr. Yes. yes, forbidden. Oh, doors I forgot about Zack Saber. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also, remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.